Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of Spanish white wines in front of me, uh, one from the coast, one from a bit further inland, but uh, uh, on the uh, lighter, fresher side, I am expecting. First one is uh, Chacoli uh, Gozatu. Uh, I thought it was 1996 vintage. It says Fundado in 1996, so in other words, the uh, uh, the bodega has been fo founded in 1996. Uh, 2014 vintage, um, and uh, grapes here are Zuri 90%, and Honderabi Zuri Zeratier, 10%. Let's see if that 10% makes a significant difference. There's a slightly um, pithy grapefruit character uh, that's, uh, that's going on here. It feels like it's going to be quite bracing. Um, so we, we are very close to the, to the uh, Atlantic coast. We're on the that northern northern coast of Spain. Uh, so a bit of marine influence. I, there's almost a slightly briny edge. I'm just looking for the alcohol level on here. Um, -ba -da -ba -da, it must be on here somewhere. Very dry. It says 13%. Um, just from the smell of it, I was wondering whether it was going to be a, a bit lighter than that. It must be this tight pithiness uh, of the grapes, uh, but also maybe a, a, a cool briskness from the from the sea breeze. Oh dear, just realised I haven't got my spittoon. I had to swallow that. Um, yeah, there's a zip there. Um, it reminds me a little bit of um, a good Chenin Blanc. There's this green apple pithiness. Um, uh, it, it, it's strange because there's a crisp bit and then there's quite a weighty bit. There's this crisp and bracing edge to start with. Uh, and then when you think it's going to be that slightly bit uh, scrawny, it expands and you're left with quite a rich flavour. A little bit of quince, a little bit of guava. Yes, I, I, I'm just thinking about Chenin Blanc, but maybe uh, more in the Gironçon style. We are not all that far away from uh, uh, from Gironçon here and uh, the Basque country. So... Um, who knows, some of the grapes may just manage to walk over the Pyrenees and uh, from one vineyard to the other. Uh, the second one is from a bit further inland, uh, again 2014 vintage. This is from uh, Torres and uh, they've been well known in Catalonia, but this is what they're doing uh, uh, in uh, Rueda. I think, is it Rueda? I'm just trying to find... Yes, it is Rueda. It's not in huge letters on the uh, on the label. And they, it's their brand name. Brand name is called Verdeo. So it's the 2014... Um, it says 20, yes, 2014, uh, Verdejo from Rueda. This is a richer, rounder, um, it hasn't got that bracing uh, pithy edge uh, that uh, that I smelt here, smelt on, on, on the on the chocolate. Uh, and so it feels like it's going to be, um, not probably not all that different in alcohol, it might even be less alcohol, um, 13%, so same alcohol, uh, but because it feels like it's probably going to be a little bit lower in acidity and... Um, uh, it feels like there's a, an extra layer of ripeness, so you're getting this ripeness of uh, ripe pears. Uh, if it's citrus, it's on the riper edge, really ripe lemons and, and, and oranges. Uh, again, it smells like it's going to be uh, on, on the fresh side, but um, uh, yes, I, I, I'm anticipating something with just a little bit more oomph than the first one, although the first one did surprise me with that, uh, the way it took built on you. There's a rounded, creamy, nutty character there, as if they've aged the wine on on the leaves for a bit and it's just adding a little bit of weight um, and a muskiness um, and, uh, yeah and good muskiness almost like really the, when grapes are really ripe um, and they've they've started to go brown but they've not started to shrivel that type of muskiness ripe pear uh, ripe grapes and but then with this citrus freshness if I'd, I think if I hadn't had the uh, the, the wine before uh, it would taste even fresher it is it, it, it hasn't got that level of acidity that the first one has um, it's got more weight of flavour. I can see them as, uh, I, I like them both probably just as, as much as each other. If anything, I probably have a slight preference for the Chacolay, but they're, they're wines for different occasions. That's for those, those um, the, the, almost the, those things that you'd squeeze a lemon on. Uh, here, uh, I would uh, I, I would go for, I, I think that would stand up to quite a lot of, uh, uh, almost like a little bit, something with a little bit of spice in there. Not too much, but just, uh, yes, yeah, spice chicken dishes, uh, where the spicing is light, fresh, fragrant, because uh, it's not a sweet wine, but there's this slight sweetness of fruit. I was talking about those very ripe grapes, and uh, I think that will go quite nicely, but uh, I enjoy both of them. See you soon.